Welcome to Omega Open Course. In this video, we are going to discuss the derivation of time period, frequency, and angular velocity of an electron moving in any orbit of a single electron species like hydrogen atom. We already have the expression for velocity and radius. Velocity v is equal to 2 pi kze square by nh meter per second. And radius r is equal to n square h square by 4 pi square m k z e square meter. To learn how the expression for radius and velocity has been derived, you can click on the link shown or see the descriptions below. Now, the total distance covered by the electron in one revolution, d, is equal to 2 pi r. And r is equal to n square h square by 4 pi square m k z e square meter. Therefore, distance d is equal to 2 pi into n square h square by 4 pi square m k z e square is equal to n square h square by 2 pi m k z e square and velocity v is equal to 2 pi k z e square by n h meter per second. Therefore, time taken in completing one revolution t is equal to 2 pi r by v is equal to n square h square by 2 pi m k z e square into n h by 2 pi k z e square. Time period t is equal to n cube h cube by 4 pi square m k square z square e to the power 4. Time period t is equal to n cube h cube by 4 pi square m k square z square e to the power 4 is equal to h cube by 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 into n cube by z square. The term inside the bracket is a constant and can be replaced by t naught. And then our expression becomes t is equal to t naught n cube by z square, where t naught is equal to h cube by 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4. Frequency is the number of revolutions made by the electron in one second. Since in t seconds one revolution is completed, in one second one by t revolutions will be completed and therefore f is equal to one by t is equal to 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 by h cube into z square by n cube. This expression is clearly the inverse of the expression of time period t. It can also be written as f naught z square by n cube, where the constant term 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 by h cube has been replaced by f naught. Now, frequency is the number of revolutions made by the electron in one second. Also, the angle covered by the electron in one revolution is 2 pi radian. Therefore, total angle covered by the electron in one second is equal to 2 pi f, which is equal to 2 pi into 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 by h cube into z square by n cube is equal to 8 pi cube m k square e to the power 4 by h cube into z square by n cube, which is equal to omega naught into z square by n cube where omega naught is equal to 8 pi cube m k square e to the power 4 by h cube. Omega is known as angular velocity. Also, omega is equal to 2 pi f is equal to 2 pi by t and t is equal to 2 pi r by v. Therefore, omega is equal to 2 pi by t is equal to v by r, which means omega is the ratio of the velocity and radius. Now, let us do a numerical based on the idea of time period, frequency and angular velocity. Calculate the time period, frequency and angular velocity of an electron in first orbit of h atom. For first orbit of h atom, n is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. Time period t is equal to h cube by 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 into n cube by z square is equal to t naught into n cube by z square is equal to t naught which on calculation is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 16 seconds. Frequency f is equal to 4 pi square m k square e to the power 4 by h cube into z square by n cube is equal to f naught z square by n cube is equal to f naught and its value on calculation is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 15 hertz. Angular velocity omega is equal to 8 pi cube m k square e to the power 4 by h cube into z square by n cube. 
is equal to omega naught into z square by n cube is equal to omega naught is equal to 4.1 into 10 to the power 16 radian per second and this is our answer i hope this video has helped you in understanding the basic idea of time period frequency and angular velocity of an electron in any orbit of a single electron species if you have any question in chemistry you can ask it by posting it in comment section we will upload a video related to your question please like and share the video so that other students can find us subscribe the channel for more such videos and other updates thank you for watching